Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for trading session the Wednesday, 12th of September 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so where do we stand? Uh, good question. Okay, so uh, in terms of the markets at present, uh, Asian markets overnight still swooning silver in the negative. Obviously, ongoing concerns with regards to China, US trade war. Uh, U.S. equities certainly um, pushing higher again, uh, currently trading at around the 28.93 zone to the S&P, certainly pushing right back up again. It certainly seems like it's some sort of Apple effect from what I can understand. You've got 29.01, which is gap fill. Uh, in terms of resistance zones, you've got 28.98, you've got 28, uh, 29.00, and then you've got 29.01. There is solid resistance at 28.92, so watch out there. 28.92 is your key resistance. Can we break through that? You've got 28.92, 28.92.5. Currently trading around the 28.94 zone. Uh, NASDAQ certainly has pushed higher. Certainly seems like it's an anticipation to potential Apple uh, announcement as well. So it seems like the stock market is basically all Apple right now, especially the US. Okay, Yesterday, as you can see, S&P certainly bounced quite strongly from that 28.68 zone. And is up almost 30 handles since. Okay. Um, in terms of the fundamental news flow, this morning we've had um, Italian industrial production numbers coming in weaker than expected. That really is it. Okay. In terms of fundamentals, Brexit scenario, Brexit chaos still can obviously can resumes. Okay. And um, interesting. Okay. So that's basically where we stand from that perspective. In terms of uh, the uh, the markets, and let's look at the technical picture in terms of the German DAX. German DAX certainly finding support, potentially bouncing here now from Gapville. 60 minute chart certainly bouncing, or obviously after having held that double bottom. So now you've got resistance here now around 12035. The next level above is seen at uh, Gapville at 12212. So watch out for that Gapville there. Okay, in terms of the French CAC. Uh, again, we've bounced from that double bottom scenario. Okay, looking like we want to close the gap now at 5343. Let's see how the market reacts there. 60 minute chart of certainly triggering that IHS formation again. Like I said, next level is that gap fill at 5340. So watch out for gap fill in terms of the uh, FTSE 100. Again, lackluster. I was expecting the FTSE certainly to continue its surge. Up to a 7.310, that certainly has failed, has it done so? Uh, we've certainly gapped higher here. Okay, so 7.270, that's basically where we certainly closed yesterday. So watch out for gap fill at 72.70. Okay, and then you've got potential, uh, like I said, resistance, next little resistance around 7.310. So can we close the gap? That's the question. Okay, that's basically what we focus on for now. Okay, so uh, FTSE 100, interesting scenario there, especially given the fact that the 60 minute chart certainly has held over bottom again next level of resistance is 7310 and then after that you're looking at 7360 and potentially even 72 7428 okay so those those are the levels to watch out for in terms of FTSE 100 and again the daily chart certainly potentially looking to uh, uh, reverse here as well okay so interesting juncture here with regards to the FTSE 102 Okay, so that's basically where we're set up right now. Also, Eurostox potential IHS formation as well brewing on the 60-minute chart. We look potentially looking to break through that. Uh, uh, we see a key uh, da, uh, inverted head and shoulders formation, and obviously looking to potentially close the gap at 3360. So, keep an eye on the news flow. Let's see exactly how the market plays out. U.S. equities certainly short swings are squeezing higher, and let's see how the markets play out for the rest of the day. In terms of fundamentals for the rest of the day. You got industrial production numbers. You got Fed Bullard. Other than that, nothing. No more. No major market moving event. Unless there's some news regarding the uh, situation regarding China or Canada. Take that into consideration too, and also Apple. On that note, please be sure to visit CFDs.com. Certainly take advantage of the uh, uh, we see bonus offered there, and also be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers. Goodbye now.